Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a school, college, university bag essentials or what I personally would like to pack in my bag anyway. I haven't actually bought myself a new bag for uni yet so when I do go back to uni if I haven't got a new bag I'll just be using this one. As you can see it's a little bit battered but it's just a Fiorelli bag and I absolutely love it because it fits my laptop in it as well. So I do want to take my laptop to uni, at least I know it's going to fit into my bag. So the first thing that you will need if you are going to uni or college or anything like that, you won't need it if you go to school because school will give you them, but you'll need some notepads. This one is stunning. I got this one from like the 99p shop, so make sure you have a little shop around because you can get really cheap ones that are still going to be pretty as well. But look how pretty it looks. I think it looks pretty. <laughs> I've got Millie watching me film again. <laughs> and also to go alongside that you might, might not, need to take some folders with you. This is an example of one of my folders that I've had maybe from second year of uni or maybe even first year. These are from Paper Chase and they last really, really well considering how much they are. Like it's £3. It's not ridiculous. But obviously it's not like the pound ones that you can get there, it's like plain pink or whatever. If you want to do a DIY one up and make it pretty then totally go for it. But I like to just buy them already made pretty. <laughs> I normally find at uni when I do take my folder with me is normally when I have like an exam or an assignment. Especially an exam coming up because I keep all my notes in here. Then at least I know that if I have like a quick five minutes or if I'm in the mood then at least I've got my notes on me to quickly flick through. Something that I would highly, highly, highly recommend for you to get for uni, college, um, I think schools give you them, my school you used to anyway. If not, then get one anyway. A planner slash diary. This is one that I got. This is the El Erin Condrium one. I think that's what it's called. Um, I bought this last year. You saw me doing a few videos on it. I'll leave the links down below if you want to see like, me decorating it and stuff like that. And hauls for like stickers and stuff that I've bought. But all I've done it, it's really, really thin because it's only got until December in it. But all I've done is just ripped out all the pages for the rest of the year and just kept the pages that I need and it's going to be lighter. And I also just have everything there right at the front ready to go kind of thing. This is beautiful. What I like about it is it's got like your little front overview calendar and then it's also got the pages as well. So I can put all my assignments in. I'd recommend always writing in pencil when it comes to your planner or your diary so then you can like rub things out. It's not going to get messy crossing things out. I've learned from the past three years at uni to write in pencil so this is what I'm going to be doing for my masters. Obviously I'd recommend taking some kind of form of a pencil case with you. Do not go overboard and think that you need to take coloured pens and anything with you. Literally a few pens and some highlighters, depending what course you're on, will do you. If you're on an art course or something like that, or like a design kind of course, then obviously you're going to need pencils and all that. But if you're just on a normal writing course, like what I was doing in a psychology degree, then you just literally need pens and maybe some highlighters. Maybe. <laughs> so I haven't actually got a pencil case ready for me yet. All through my degree, I didn't take a pencil case with me. I just shoved some pens in my bag, so make sure you take some with you though, because otherwise you're going to have to ask other people and it just kind of makes you look unprepared. And some of people might have spares, so then you're just basically screwed. <laughs> Whenever I go anywhere, I always try to have a pair of headphones with me, whether it's these version or these version. It's only these ones because they're just very, very easy to slip in my bag. And I know that if I'm at uni, or for instance, if you sat in the library and there's someone sat next to you that is eating like... <laughs> and he's eating disgusting and thinking that it's okay to eat crisps really really loud in a library it's not it's not at all it's disgusting <laughs> then at least you can put your headphones in and just completely block it out <laughs> it's all another struggle <laughs> of course you need your purse in your handbag of rise how are you going to be able to pay for anything for food for drinks or whatever when you're at school you don't really need a big purse like this you just need a little small one just to put your money away i think i had like I didn't even have a purse when I was at school. I just used to put it in my pocket. I'm sure I didn't have a purse. But anyways, this is my Ted Burke one. I'm not the biggest fan of this anymore, but I just haven't found another one that I think is better. <laughs> if you commute to uni or to college or to school, or for instance, you just literally want to save some money, you don't want to be buying brand new bottles of water every single day, then I'd recommend taking a water bottle with you. I absolutely love this one. I think it's because it has a straw, and I think it makes me feel like I'm... I, I drink more but I do drink more when it's a straw for some reason I'm not too sure why it's like just like the lazy way of, of drinking but I absolutely love this I got this from Matalan for like three four pound it's a polar gear one but 
I love this and now take it to uni and just fill it up with the fountains at uni. If warm drinks are more your kind of option then I love this Costa cup. I like to take this to uni with me, I'll fill it up with a cup of tea or some hot chocolate, take it in the car with me and then by the time I get to my class it's just cooled down to like a nice temperature ready for me to start at 9 o'clock which is normally when I need this. <laughs> Whenever I go anywhere, I always have to have some kind of body spray or perfume in my bag. The one that I've always been reaching for recently is the Victoria's Secret one. I actually have one in my white bag at the moment, which is like near enough ran out. This is the Pure Seduction one, and this is the Mango Temptations one. And I just love to have these in my bag, and then at least I know if I'm getting a little bit smelly, or sometimes the library can be red hot, and you have no choice but to spend. <laughs> then it's always nice to have some kind of spray in your bag just to give you a little spritz and freshen up. Or you can always put a perfume in. I probably wouldn't recommend putting this kind of perfume in. I like to put in the slim, smaller bottles of perfumes in my bag because it makes it a little bit lighter, especially if you're carrying so much stuff with you. But this is the Katy Perry Killer Queen perfume, in case you're wondering. For hygiene reasons, and especially like for instance if I'm going to work, and um, where I need to really keep up my hygiene. I always like to have some instant hand sanitizer in my bag. You can get these, I think there was something ridiculous like 30p in Home Bargains. I do really like the Soap and Glory ones, I just think that, or the Body Shop ones are really nice as well, but I just think that they're a bit too much considering how much I do use them. So I think I got these like three for a pound, so they'll be like something ridiculous like 33.3333 each <laughs> to make it a pound, but yeah. I do really like this, especially if you just, You've been somewhere or you've been in the toilet and you have to open the door of your hand because you haven't got a long sleeve to wrap around the door. You know what I mean if you're like a big germaphobe. <laughs> then it's nice to have this to kind of just be like, oof, afterwards if that makes sense. Another thing that's kind of hygiene related is some hand cream. I must admit I'm not um, a big hand cream person. Never really have it in my bag. But in case you are that kind of person, then these Soap and Glory ones are really nice. This is the Soap and Glory 2-in-1 Moisture Mask and Hand Creams. This is nice because it is really, really nourishing, especially within that like moisture mask as well. Moisture mask. <laughs> but yeah, I really like this one. I just, I'm not a big hand cream person. So, yeah, I'm a bit lazy when it comes to that. <laughs> Another kind of conditioning product that I like to have in my bag is some lip balm. I've like literally came to the end of this one and I'm so proud of myself because I am really lazy when it comes to lip balm as well. But I really like this especially in the colder months and at least you know you've got something on to protect your lips. And this is the Maybelline Baby Skin. And I'm not too sure which colour this one's in, to be honest. <laughs> of course, I am a girl. I do get periods. Everybody does. <laughs> So always make sure you've got some spare pads in your bag because it's better to be over prepared than under prepared. So make sure, and in case your friend needs one as well, make sure you've got a couple in your bag. Is that a bit TMI? I don't care. <laughs> I've got some hair related products and one of them is only depending on what you do at uni. So if you're going to the uni gym or if your course is active, then maybe have some dry shampoo in your bag. Completely up to you. Um, I wouldn't take this to uni with me, especially not a big bottle like this, because my course isn't active at all. But in case you are active in a course, then I'd recommend taking some dry shampoo with you. Maybe a bit of roll on as well. Um, if the body spray is not going to be enough for you, if you're going to be working your butt off, then I'd recommend some dry shampoo and possibly some roll on in your gym bag as well. Hair wise, I have two things that I always like to have in my bag. I do like to have a hairbrush. This one is like disgusting. I've got loads of hair hanging off it. This is the Tangle Teaser one, which just looks like this. And it's good because it's like the compact one that goes into your handbag. Um, you can get these in boots. I'm pretty sure you probably will get them cheaper or like um, ones for cheaper online but um this is yeah this is really nice especially if your hair gets really caught in the wind like mine does like mine is such a nightmare for it but i'm quite lazy i will have it in my bag but sometimes i forget to use it regardless something that i'd really recommend taking with you is hair clips in a bubble because there's nothing worse than for instance it being a hot day or you're just not enjoying your hairstyle at all or your hair is just driving you insane I like to have my hair shot up in a bun out of my face when I'm doing work, especially if I'm sat in the library or something. I just want it out of the way, don't have to think about it, not really care what I look like. I'm just wanting to get my work done, get my little bum home so I can enjoy and see Blake and my family. But if you don't have anything with you, that can be like the biggest pain ever. So for hair clips and bubbles, I'd recommend buying a little box like this. It's from Paper Chase. It cost me £1, not expensive at all. And I basically just put my bubbles and my hair clips inside this. And it's super, super cute as well. At least I'm not rummaging about my bag thinking, oh my God, where are my hair clips? I'm sure I had a bubble in here. I know it's in here. So when I'm doing my hair in the toilets, I just need to get this out and I'm fine. <laughs> if you don't want to buy a little tin, totally understand, then just literally just rip some of your hair clips off the sachets when you buy them. And if you want to, you could even just tie 
your bubble around that as well. At least you know you've got your bubble and your hair clips in one place and you're not rummaging around, like I said, trying to find it at the bottom of your bag. Something that I don't always take, I always put in my bag with me. I normally do it if I'm, for instance, going to work and I'm on like a really long 12, 14 hour night shift. Or for instance, if I know that I'm going to be sleeping at Blake's afterwards, I always take my contacts case with me and my glasses. Just in case, because my contacts really hurt, especially recently, really hurt during the day. I like to take them off. So I like to take them off and then put my glasses on instead. But like I said, that's a complete option. That's not something that I do every single day, but it's just a little tip in case. <laughs> the last two things that I'd recommend would be some kind of portable phone charger, whether it's one of the ones that you charge up yourself. I don't really take that to uni because normally I'm near a computer or something. So instead I'd like to take this with me. This is from Primark, it costs something ridiculous like one pound odd and it expands like this. And then you can click the button in the middle and it kind of like sucks it back together. So you know it's going to be little, it's not going to get tangled up in your bag with your headphones and stuff. What I really like about it is it has three different parts. This one is good for, my instance, my iPad. This one is good for my iPhone. And this one is good for my Kindle as well. So it's nice because it's just got everything there. And if your friend hasn't got a charger, at least you've kind of got her back and you've got every option. Because for instance, the Kindle one also charges up my mum and Blake's Samsung phone, Galaxy one. Galaxy Edge, is that what it's called? Something like that. So that one will charge up other people's phones as well. So at least you can be like kind of the go-to girl for that. <laughs> and obviously it just plugs into your computer or you can take a plug with you if you want, for instance, if you're not gonna be near your computer. And the last one is something that I'd really recommend as well, especially if you don't wanna buy the little wires, then I'd recommend getting one of these. What this basically is, it's a key ring and it basically goes into your iPhone. You can buy them for different, obviously, for different ones. And then this part goes into the USB part. It means that whenever you're at the library or anything like that, whenever you need any computer or any plug or anything, you have got a charge with you at all times on your keys and you're not gonna lose it. You're not gonna forget it when you move them from one bag to the other because you've got it on your keys. And this is my keys, by the way. I've got my car keys, other keys got my Keep Calm and our blogger keyring which you probably remember if you watch my Christmas vlog that I got last year and then I've also got my Beyonce keyring which is like basically dead now but I'm not giving up on it yet. <laughs> So that was everything in my video guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if there's anything that you'd recommend to pop in my handbag when I go back to uni. Any kind of tips or tricks as well, please let me know down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to hit subscribe. Bye guys. Bye. <laughs>